What is up my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. In the last episode, we defeated Zenobia, and in this episode, Colossus number 15 awaits us. Oh, man, I have been dreading this moment. Now, only slightly dreading, actually. Only slightly dreading, I should say. So, remember how I said, like, Gaius was, like, my least favorite fight in the game? Third Colossus, like, I hate it. I, Okay, technically he's my second least favorite. The one we're about to fight has always been my least favorite. However, I gotta give props where props is due to Blue Point because they also made this fight more bearable just like they did with Gaius. Um, so this is going to be a little bit interesting, although not a, not quite as much because of the biggest the big reason I have a problem with Gaius is just because his freaking like the sensitivity on how Wander grips him is what bothered me, and they fixed that pretty nicely. This fight, on the other hand, is more just the design of the fight itself that frustrates me. So, yeah, this is going to be be pretty fun, but we're going to head off this direction. Very close to actually where we uh, encountered Solosia at, but we're going to want to head even further right than that. Because um, I haven't shown it to you yet, but there is a giant temple slash city over in that direction that we need to head towards so just adding to the whole mystique of this place but we need to head that way and we are going to be encountering a pretty big dude I know we've encountered freaking Solosi and Snobia they were tiny Plagia was pretty b decently big Phalanx was I mean massive there's nothing bigger than Phalanx in the whole game but uh, we've, we've seen some small colossi and it kind of you know shifts your old perception of what you might encounter as you go into the rest of this game. Well, there's only two fights left. Um, and I can promise you that you don't have to worry about any teeny tiny things anymore. They're, they're all going to be true to their name of Colossus from this point on. And also just that, that, that shot. That, that shot is just... Ugh. Oh, oh, this game looks so good now. Oh, I can't get over it. I cannot get over it. So going right on past Solosian as soon as we get around this cliffside... We will be revealed or greeted by. Oh, what is that? Is that a giant castle? I believe it is. Let's get over the sand dune. And actually, the sand dune's hiding another little secret. Although, not quite as spectacular a secret, in my opinion. A shrine! And yes, there is a lizard to be caught here, and we're going to catch it. Um, really quickly. Now, I believe this one is actually already on the ground. So, I want to keep my distance. But if I. Very careful about this. Maybe he's not already on the ground. I don't know. I thought he was. Dang it. And then, our, of course, Agro's going to stir everything up. Hold on. Let me listen for a second. There he is. Oh, found him. I heard him. I heard him walking. I heard him walking. Okay, up he goes. Let's get my sword. There you are. There you are. Come here, you. Where'd he go? Oh, he's so elusive. Get back here. No. I missed him. Dang it. Now, hold on. I'm going to get your tail. Got it. There we go. All right, you can be free now. I know you're upset you lost your tail, but don't worry. You'll grow it back. He's okay, though. At least he isn't dead. All right, so let's keep moving. And now we're going to head on into the castle. Look at this thing. Isn't that crazy? It's huge. So interesting. I really wonder what went on here back when it was thriving. But can't wonder too much, unfortunately. All right, Agro, you're going to be staying here, buddy. You can't really go beyond this point anyway. Because there is a giant fallen pillar that will get in the way. So now... We're going to want to get our bow at the ready for this. There we go. And there's a hole. Don't think you can go through there. I know. I tried. It doesn't work. I promise. <laughs> and 
and then we'll just head on up the stairs. And you get you get to really take in your surroundings a lot with this place um, while you're here. Just saying. But uh, keep walking on up. Man, this place is just ginormous. Oh. I mean, like, I wonder who lived here, or how they lived here, or if they, if people lived here at all. What if this was just, like, a commerce center? Like, I could see that, like, this was just a big area for trade, or it was possibly a coliseum of some sorts. Those were the, those were where the people stood and watched, or something like that. I don't know, it'd make sense. Don't you think? I don't know, I think it makes sense. Anyway. Let's keep heading over this way. Way too quiet in here. But just, uh, just take, have a look at everything. It's really important that you do because you're going to need to make notes of all this going into this fight. So as soon as we step up here onto the stone... Ladies and gentlemen, meet Argus, the 15th Colossus, and by and far, the most tedious one. Oh boy, here we go. So, if you've been taking note of your surroundings, you will know that there are places to cl climb up to. However, we can't quite reach them, unfortunately, but there is a way of doing this. So what we need to do is we need to lure Argus over here and get him into position for this, which is a little bit easier said than done and this fight requires a lot of patience so just hang in there but what you're going to want to do is stand on this platform he's going to put his foot forward literally and you want to move out of the way and stand on this uh half and then you can climb your way up he gives me a little bit of a boost now part two what you want to do keep luring him over here by ticking him off and shooting him in the stomach or whatever the chest Come on over, buddy. So he has to slowly make his way into position. Yes, I know this fight is aggravating, and I don't like it. It's the only one I have a problem with. That is a weak spot, by the way, right there. We'll worry about that later. Come on, you. So as soon as he sets himself up into position, shoot him a couple times. And watch out, because things are going to fall. There it is. Alright, so all, now that all of these platforms have fallen, we can make our way up. So that's part two. Part three is next. And I gotta actually drop down and go on this side. Here we go. Is he gonna hit it again? I think he is. Is he doing it? Yes, he is. Okay, he's just throwing a tantrum now, apparently. So part three. What you need to do now is you need to head over here to this bridge. Argus, you are looking the wrong way. And I'm going to shoot you in the side of the head. Turn around. Where do you think you're going? Turn around. Oh, this is so tedious. And this is just to get on the guy. Come on. So tick him off. What he's going to do is he's going to reel back. And you're going to want to move out of the way. Because you can't be standing in the center of the bridge. Because that happens. And now that you have done all of that... Finally, you can jump on the guy once he makes his way over here. So let him keep coming this way. Don't you stop. Jump! And now we can start making our way to taking care of his head. And oh my gosh, this is only... I mean, it takes that long just to get on the guy. But here's the golden part, is if you do fall, there is no easy way back up there again. You have to have him... Step on that frickin' platform just to get you back up again, and there's nothing you can do about it. Alright, come on, uh, uh, Wander. There we go. There's a good stab. Ooh, that was a really good stab. Perfect. It, problem is, though, is he'll start walking eventually, and that's gonna throw you off the most, act more than his shakes. So there we go. That gets rid of the head sigil. That's the hard part. Uh, well, actually, that's the easy part, now that I, now that I think about it. The hard part is you got to make sure you go down the right arm. Don't go down the left arm or you're going to throw yourself off here. 
Go down the right arm and we need to get down to, ooh, to that glowing red spot. Very slowly but surely. And all you need to do is give him a nice good stab. Now I'm going to try, I'm going to desperately try to do this without falling off of the guy completely. But now you need to make your way down to his hand, which again is easier said than done. Now if you do fall, there is another way of doing this. Um, he will still try to smash you with this hand if you uh, get enough distance from him. Oh, there we go. If you can get enough distance from him, he'll still try to smash you with his hand. Um, and that is going to be your opportunity to grab onto it. Oh, oh! Wander just let go. He just let go for some reason. That was actually very strange. I don't know why. I thought I grabbed onto the second wrist, uh, second part of his wrist, but I guess not. All right, so now I guess I can show the way you're supposed to do it. Come here, turn around. Here, I'm going to show it. It's in his hand. Right there. Perfect. Turn around. a boy. Now, grabbing onto this hand is actually kind of difficult because he has a tendency to pull it away really quickly. So you got to have your timing just right. There you go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, do that. And if I can... Grab on! Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay, good. I got it before he pulled away in time. So all you need is one good stab. There we go. Now, in hard mode, Argus will also possess a weak spot on his chest, which makes things about ten times more difficult, if I'm being honest. So, uh, that's fun. But other than that, we have defeated 15 of the 16 Colossi. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be for this episode of Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.